time, Giannis and the Bucks got their jumbo-sized rings, kicked off the title defense in style last night. So no time like right now to tell you what we think is going to happen this season. Chris Broussard, buddy, kick us off. Take us through your NBA season prediction, starting with your MVP. All right, Jenna, my MVP is the same one I predicted last year in the preseason. He didn't go ahead and do it, but it's Luka Doncic of the Dallas Mavericks. He will win it at 23 years old. He'll turn 23 in February. He'd be one of the youngest guys ever win the MVP award. Look, a lot of people, you can say what you want about Jason Kidd, their new head coach, but Giannis Antetokounmpo and Chris Middleton both know and credit Jay Kidd for a lot of their growth and development. Now, Luke is farther advanced than they were when Kidd had them, but I do think Kidd is going to help Luka become even better than he already is. Now, they got to finish in the top four at least in the West for him to have a legitimate shot at winning the MVP. He's the only superstar on his team. That will help him. But I think they have a good season as a team, 50-plus wins, and Luka does damage to the box scores with his stats and wins his first MVP. My finals matchup, Jenna, in the East, yeah, Nick, I'm sticking with Brooklyn. Oh, All right, I got the Brooklyn whoa, Nets in the this. East. Kevin Durant. Gonna, I didn't think he played great last night. He's going to have a great season. James Harden will have a phenomenal season. He'll adjust to the refs. You think he's going to become like an average player because he's not getting foul calls. He'll adjust and be great. And once they get their chemistry, their continuity, they're going to be the top team in the East. Milwaukee's legit. That's going to be tough, but they will beat Milwaukee. And the Lakers, look, if you, uh, if you gave me the Lakers or the field in the West to get to the finals, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I would go with the field because I, I, you know, I got question marks about the Lakers, but nobody else out there in the West looks like a world beater to me. So based on sheer talent and faith in LeBron James, I am going to pick the Lakers out of the West. And I'll admit this, if the Lakers get to the finals, it does mean things are clicking, all right? So they're going to be tough for the Brooklyn Nets if they get to the finals. But that said, we saw last night the Lakers have trouble guarding movement, guarding shooters, guarding finesse. And the oh, Nets no. shoot it as well as anybody Don't in the league. Don't do it to yourself. Nets are the champion. James Harden oh, steps no. up. There's one, there's one question James Harden needs to answer, oh, Nick. Poor Can Bruce he do Hart. it in the big postseason moments? And I believe he will oh, answer those no. questions in the positive this year and be lights out in the playoffs, even in the clutch moments. And obviously, KD will. Brooklyn, they oh, win their first championship since, since, of I don't course, think Broussard, Dr. J. Broussard's got, had, Broussard, you haven't gotten an a NBA champion pick right since the Obama administration, my friend, and now you're doing it to yourself again. Nice. I can't, okay. The, oh, well, I mean, we could go through it. Maybe maybe the first yeah, year. I, it might Trump. be. I'm not I'm sure. I, I get the check. years messed up. <laughs> it's been a while. We check. had the Clippers. We had the Nets. We got a lot of stuff going on. Certainly didn't have the Raptors. All right. Let me give you the real list. You might say, Nick, you're going to have the same MVP as Broussard, your large old Slovenian son, who you also picked last year. I do not. I love Luca, not only like his son, as my son. But you know what? I think he needs a little extra motivation. Son, you're not going to win MVP. Giannis is. There's not going to be any of that, wow. oh, we're mm. going to grade Giannis on a curve because he proved it in the postseason. Last year, he had MVP numbers. It just no one wanted to give it to him again. Last night, the sequence, he, right before that block, he stepped up and hit this three, then he did that block. The Bucks are gonna cruise to the one seed. Giannis is the MVP. Finals pick, Broussard got it half right. Lakers, Bucks. Broussard just dismissing the Bucks is beyond me. I hated how the Lakers looked last night. However, in the once the playoffs begin, if LeBron's healthy, he's not missing the finals. We know that. I think he'll be healthy. I think LeBron will have a good year. I think they will start to figure things out, even though I think they're going to have to do it probably from like the four or the three seed. And Milwaukee speaks for themselves. They, they are head and shoulders better than everyone else out east. 
The no. Nets are supposed to be the second best team. The uh. Bucks lost Drew Holiday minutes into last night's game or in the first half, and they still mollywopped him. And now don't reveal it yet because I really battled with this. I really struggled with it because all-time great players, which Giannis is, usually have their all-time greatest season right after winning the championship. Happened with LeBron, KD had one of his best seasons. We have seen it time and Jordan, you could argue his best season ever was the year they were defending their first title. So I wanted to pick the Bucks. But then something told me, you know how LeBron's gonna go year 19 and year 20? Rings five and six. Yes. Lakers win the title, America. Not sure exactly who's on the roster. What a Not surprise. sure exactly the, the what do you we're mean back. what a surprise? Not sure exactly well, we're back. the steps they have to take. But here's what I do know, Wilds. By the end of the year, LeBron's going to be holding trophy number five, finals <laughs> MVP number five, and the folks on Jordan, it used to be an island. Now it's like Jordan Islip, whatever you call that thing, a little like miniature island. They're going to be, the waters are going to be coming up on them. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. So that's what, no. that's how it's going to end. The waters are not hard. Or go ahead, Wilds. No, not not at all. It's like one of those islands in Dubai Global that they just keep coming pushing Jordan sand Island. on and getting bigger like and bigger and bigger as people join <laughs> join Jordan. Okay, I, I'm with your finals pick, Nick. I have the reverse. I have the Bucks winning, but I'm gonna go off the board here and take. It's like finding money on the ground. I'll go with LeBron MVP for the following three reasons. Reason number one, I think he'll probably come out of the West as a number one seed. But even if he's not, I still think the writers want to give it to him. Last year, Jazz were number one. Donovan didn't, no one's talked about Donovan. Poor Chris Paul had to mount a, uh, you know, a, a rogue campaign to get Chris Paul some votes. And the writers were like, ah, no thanks. So I think that LeBron will sort of like own the West and the MVP. I know you can say, ah, Joker's not getting it back to back. Reason number two, the Jordan factor. Huh. Why is the Jordan factor? Because look, LeBron is due for another ring. He's got four. Jordan's got five MVPs. And they don't give out rings for MVPs. They give out trophies, but you know what I mean. So here's the thing. When you talk about the Jordan factor, there's a narrative when people look back. In the year 75, people are going to start looking back and say, huh, how many MVPs should have Jordan won? He should have won more, right? He should have won seven. He should have won eight. That's starting to happen with LeBron. And I think that the media is going to be like, you know what? This is the one he needs. And finally, this is a cross-sport comparison. It's a little weird, but it's 100% true if you think about it. The Brady factor. What? Yes, the, he's going to get extra credit for being old and building the roster. I think when it comes to MVP for NFL, be like, well, Brady literally is building that entire roster. Same for LeBron. So, Nick, those are my reasons I think LeBron takes it home. Could you see him winning MVP hmm. number five? And would you be rooting for him, I, or do you not like LeBron as much as I do? No, I listen, I, you're obviously just in the pocket of clutch, so I don't know how much I can take your commentary on this seriously. I love but I, I, Listen, LeBron obviously should have seven MVPs if the voters have gotten things right, and unfortunately only has four. Speaking of that, hold on a second. Is that we have to end the show? Broussard, it's a new season. Did you get me my vote or not? I've been trying, Nick. Um, so far, so far, no yeah. good yet. But I, I, I've been trying. Oh, I've see. been trying. Check in next week. I've been trying. No, 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 we'll no, check no. in next week. No, you've got a long check season. In. The pick, like the Laker, that Lakers pick didn't We're, really help. I mean, especially with the explanation. I don't know. Call. I don't know who's Anything. gonna be there. Just the Lakers. Just Lakers. Yeah. <laughs> he spent the whole no, show right. killing them. All right. He's well, we're gonna follow They're Nick. not that good. Um, they can't defend it. We're all gonna follow Nick. We got to go. Uh, Skip and Shannon are going to do a deep dive on this game right here, on that guy right there, LeBron, right after this. We'll see you tomorrow. Undisputed starts right now.